Hello, this is Ezra Rat, CEO of Razpack Media. Today, I want to talk about how automation is killing social media platforms. So the last few videos, I've talked about Twitter and Instagram. And these two platforms are being hurt the most by automation. I actually spoke about both the issues in the previous videos, but I really want to talk about how the fact that marketers are looking for an easy way out is actually hurting the social in social media. I actually made a whole video about how businesses are just doing social media because everyone tells them to do it, and therefore they're fulfilling the smallest requirements, they're checking off the check boxes, and everyone's happy, and they're moving on to the next thing, and then they just hope that it makes them money, but it probably won't. Today, I want to talk about the fact that once they've decided that they're going to do it, businesses now are trying to put in the absolute minimum requirements necessary for their business to say they're on a platform. And the two platforms with the biggest issues in automation are Twitter and Instagram. This doesn't happen that much on Facebook, but it does because you can auto add people to groups and Facebook has tried to fix that. It doesn't happen on Snapchat because there isn't really that much automation to be done on Snapchat. It happens a ridiculous amount on Instagram, but much less than it used to. And this is probably the reason why Twitter is in so much trouble today because they have the most amount of automation and it's very, very bad. So Gary Vaynerchuk has a line that he says, marketers ruin everything. Once a marketer figures out a process to do something, they figure out how to make it not work anymore because they tried everything to make it not work the most for them and therefore now it works for no one. And Twitter is an amazing example of this. Twitter used to be a platform where you it's called the cocktail party of the world. Everyone is there hanging out, having a great time, talking about things they talk about, and you want to join the cocktail party, you search in Twitter search, and you see what everyone's talking about, everyone's having a great time. But now, businesses are like, wait a second, someone's searching about a topic, they might want to hear about my business. So businesses are trying to figure out, how could I get in front of the most number of people with the least amount of effort? If I can find hashtags about topics I want to talk about, I can automate a process where I send that person a tweet about the content that I talked about in my video that talked about the thing they're talking about in their hashtag and I could auto send all those people a message automatically. It's great and fantastic. And then they were like, wait, I could do even better than that. Every person that follows me, I could auto send out a message to the last five people that follow me with their names in the, in the, in the tweet and then they'll see it and then they'll enjoy it because they thought that I actually wrote it out but haha ha, got them I automated it and also every time that someone follows me I could auto DM a message to them telling them to go onto my website and sign up to my seven-day course and then hit them up for a sale at the end get them to follow me on Facebook and I got them because it wasn't real and I didn't have to do any work and then they're like wait I even a better idea I could automatically like all the tweets that people post with with hashtags because why do I actually have to click the button when I can automate a robot to do it for me it's so great fantastic everyone's happy except that everyone knows it was automated so who does that help probably no one in fact not only does it help any, anyone it actually hurts a lot of people because there are actually people that really cared about that person and really wrote a comment to that person and really enjoyed that person's content or really wanted to help that person. But guess what? They couldn't know the difference because there are so many businesses automating the process that no one can know if anyone's actually being real on the platform anymore. And when everyone thinks that everyone's a robot and when everyone thinks that even if this big famous person is actually on Twitter, it's probably someone that's paid some intern that's paid to run the channel. So even if it's not automated, it's not even really that person anyways, because everyone just thought they needed to be on Twitter because everyone was on Twitter. And now everyone's on Twitter by being fake on Twitter. So if this is the whole process of all this automation just to look more real, and the same thing is true on Instagram, just on a lesser degree, because I know tons of businesses that just follow tons of businesses on Instagram, and that used to be enough. But then that stopped working. So what they started doing was they started following all of them and then going into the into the actual account, liking the last three posts, and that used to be enough. So now they would, it was follow, like, like, like. Oh great, now the person will follow me back, they'll see my stuff, they'll see my thing, and then they'll buy my product, they'll click on my bio, it'll be great. And then they're like, well that doesn't work anymore because everyone was doing that, so instead they follow, like, 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 comment on the last post, now I, I, I'm in business now, <laughs> cooking with fire, and this is even, so then the next thing happened, and then everyone's basically commenting on posts, on, automatically because no one is actually posting on posts automatically in, in, act, in real time because everyone just automated the process. So Instagram 
being somewhat intelligent was like, this is really stupid. Let's just stop all the automation. So now if someone actually hearts your post, they actually click the heart button. Isn't that crazy? As opposed to Twitter where probably no one did and it was just an automated thing. In fact, not only that, when I talked about this last time, I put in the hashtag automation and I talked about the fact that automation is hurting Twitter and I used hashtag automation and I got four businesses that automate processes to follow me on Twitter and one of them to add me to a group, a list on Twitter that was called automation. So now, how many of those people were real? A total of zero of them. A total of zero people actually like my comment on Twitter. But guess what? I, they, they kind of almost tricked me into thinking that they actually did it and that's why I should use their process because oh my gosh, it was amazing. They automated it, it was so great and look at this. And like, that's exactly the problem here because no one is actually real anymore. So if you could find someone that's really real on Twitter, that's amazing, and I hope that there are still people that are actively using the platform, but the problem is that like 90% of the people that are interacting with your post are robots. And robots don't buy things, unless it's batteries. Maybe they buy batteries, but probably not. So you're not gonna sell anything with your business by creating an automated process that automatically likes and shares and comments and retweets, because that doesn't help you. And once someone finds out that it was all fake, they'll not only not buy any more products from you, but they'll actually hate your business and go around telling everyone that the whole thing was fake and they didn't like it at all. And this is why automation is killing social media platforms, it's killing everything, and if we don't react to this by being more authentic, or just going all in and bots with, that's what Facebook's doing now, bots within Messenger, and you know it's a bot, you're not actually talking to anyone real, then that's really the only two processes we have right now because either you kill the platforms, which is what it's doing, or you react to it by being incredibly authentic or being straight up and telling people that none of these things are real and they should just assume it's a robot. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and comment and thumbs up on YouTube or just automate it and retweet on Twitter, whatever at this point. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.